Do you have the problem on your rocket where you've sanded down into the paper and now the paper is fuzzy? How do you get rid of that fuzziness? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, my name is Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I'm going to cover how to fix that fuzziness feeling that you get when you sand into the paper in your rocket. And this happens a lot, you know, whenever you have to repair a fin or if you sand too far into the tube, you're going to get underneath the glassine. And the glassine is that outer um, shiny layer on the rocket tube. Uh, but if you sand through it, you're going to get into the paper itself and just like right here. So how do you repair this? Uh, my go-to is using super glue and this is water thin variety so you can see it's very liquidy. And the technique is pretty simple. Um, always wear your safety glasses when you're using this stuff. Um, we're just going to take it and we're just going to paint it on the rocket like this. and it's going to make all that fuzzy stand up. Um, then you're going to take a plastic bag and wipe it down. And you're going to let this harden. Um, at this point it is still... Uh, I wouldn't touch it because it's still... It's, your, your fingers are just going to stick right to it. Um, but we have to sand it down now. Uh, the, the nice thing about the super glue is it makes those fibers very stiff. So they're much easier to sand down. So I'm going to let this cure for a second and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. The super glue is hardened. Um, and if you feel it, it feels rough. Uh, but then you want to take out your sandpaper. And I've got some like 220 grit sandpaper right here. Um, and then you're just going to sand it down. And I'm going to leave a little bit that's rough because um, I'm going to paint it so you can actually see the difference. Okay, at this point it's nice and smooth, but the final step is now we need to put primer on it. And you want to use a sandable primer that uh, it sands off really easy. And you can tell it's a sandable primer because it will be really dusty when you sand it. Um, so I'm going to take this outdoors and hit it with the sandable primer. And the question that always comes up is what brand do I use? And I never recommend a brand because I don't like any of them. Um, the best stuff is an automotive primer, um, but you have to get those from an automotive store. Um, but anyway, so I'll, I'll be right back after I go ahead and put primer paint on this and you can see the difference. Okay, I'm back. Um, I have put primer on here and I want you to see the kind of the difference. So in this area right here is where I sanded. Um, over here is where I put the super glue, but I didn't sand. And then here is unsanded, and this is still fuzzy. Um, so you can see there's a big difference. Now the, the final step would be to sand it one more time, and that will get it nice and smooth. So you just sand it down. And you can see that the sandable primer is really dusty. All right, 
right, so you can see right here, I've, I've gotten down to the paper again, but it's, you know, I can feel it. It's really nice and smooth. This darker area right here is where I still need to do a little bit more sanding. Um, and then even right here, um, you could sand through the primer and then sand that down, but you're still going to have to reprimer that. So I would recommend putting the super glue on first, then sanding it, then priming it, and then sanding it again. Uh, and then this is what you're trying to avoid, the fuzziness of raw paper that's been painted over. That's very high drag, high skin friction. You don't want that. You want this nice and smooth. And then when you put your paint over on top of it, it'll look really nice and crisp. So my name is Tim Van Milligan. You've been watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.